Hi, I want to go over uh, learning to measure with you and learning to use a uh, steel ruler and read to sixteenths of an inch. And uh, one of the things that people that learning are learning how to measure uh, get concerned about is how do we keep all of those fractions uh, straight. And so what I want to do is show you just the easiest way that I know to read a ruler and make it very simple. The first thing though that you need to do is to figure out what the denominator is. And so there's a really easy way to do that and I'm going to show you what that is. So number one, the first thing you do is you need to look at the elevation of the tick mark. And each of these is called a tick mark. And so each tick mark, as you can see, has a different elevation. And so this tick mark, for example, uh, has an elevation that's going to have a denominator as a sixteenth, this one. And then this one has a denominator that's going to be an eighth. This one is going to be the fourth. And that one is going to be a half. And so if we, if we look at an inch, what we can see is that by denominator, it's very easy to understand exactly uh, half of the fraction. For example, this is a sixteenth, an eighth, a sixteenth, a quarter, a sixteenth, an eighth, a sixteenth, a half, a sixteenth, and so on. So each of those elevations is very quickly going to give you half of whatever the measurement is. And so right now I'm just going to put in the fraction. So now all I need to do, I know that this is going to be a 1, it's going to be something over 1, then this is a 16, an 8, a 16, a 4th, a 16, an 8th, a 16, a half, 16, 8, 16, 4, 16, 8, 16, and one again. So now, it, now we already know exactly a half of whatever the fraction is, and that really makes things easy. So now all we need to do is to figure out what it is that the pattern is on the denominator or the numerator. And if we look at this, this is one sixteenth, three sixteenths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, nine. Uh, 11, 13, and 15. So when we look at what the patterns are for those denominators over here, this, the pattern for the 16 is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So it's an odd number that simply increases. That's the pattern. And so it makes it really easy. And then on 8th, it's exactly the same thing. 1, 3, 5, 7. And so here on the 8ths, right here, 1, 3, 5, 7. So on the 16ths, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. It's easy to do if you just know that those are going to be odd, uh, every other odd uh, numerator. And so on the fourths it's the same pattern and on the halves there's just one. So, so you can already tell that it's very easy to know exactly what it is that the numerator is going to be because it's the same pattern with all of the fractions. So in this case it's 0 over 1, 1, 1, and let's just do, let's do sixteenths first. 1 sixteenth, 3 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So look how fast that is. That's really, really easy. Let's do this pattern again on eighths. 1, 3, 5, 7. 
That's really fast. Now let's come back here. One and three on the fourths. And there's only one half left. And this is obviously one over one. So now, hopefully that's an easier way to to understand how to measure. First of all, come up with your denominator by looking at the elevation of the tick mark and then use your pattern 13579 to figure out what the numerator is. I hope that's helpful. What I recommend to you now is to get on the internet and type in uh, the rulergame.net and this is a great way uh, to get some practice on learning to uh, measure and so what you do is you come down here and look at this area that's in yellow and if you're new you can start on halves and then increase to quarters just simply by clicking on it and then eighths and then up to sixteenths and so uh, what we want to do uh, uh, is to go ahead and get fast at sixteenths of an inch. You should have enough to do this now by sixteenths, but if you don't, feel free to drop back. And also, if you are having a hard time with it, turn off the timer until you get some speed on. But the way this works is I'm going to leave the timer on and I'm going to hit Start New Game. So I hit Start New Game and it wants me to find 1 and 7 sixteenths. Well, there it is. So I click it and I've got 10 points. I've got 8 seconds to do the next one. 3 and 3 eighths, which is right here. 3 and 1 fourth, right here. Oh, I made an error. So I struck out. You can see that I have one strike. I've got to go to 11 sixteenths right there, 7 sixteenths right there. I've acquired 40 points. And so you can kind of see how the game works. I'm going to go ahead and strike out by making an error and one more strike out. And so that allows you to restart the game. Um, if you are proficient, you really should get to about 5,000 on this score. It is surprising how you can, over multiple practice sessions, get to 5,000. But it does take you a little bit of uh, practice, and 10 minutes of this is uh, sufficient. And usually within about five, 10-minute sessions, uh, you can get to 10,000, and then you will never have trouble reading a ruler again. I hope this helps you uh, learn to read a ruler more accurately and more quickly.